YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Pinstar Plays Factory Town, episode two. So, in our last episode, we uh, we we dipped our toes into the waters of automation, and I'd say it's uh, it's pretty cool, and in a good way in this case. Um, so, reviewing our setups here, we've got um, I, I think we have two people dumping logs onto this. We clearly do not need two people dumping logs onto this. So, we're going to pull one of our workers. I think, you know what? Let's. We need some more manual labor on the herbages. So, you you are no longer on there. At least I think we may have too many people um, on here. Yeah, both the input and the output is completely full here. So yeah, actually, we do need one person on this. Um, so yeah, actually, r forget what I said. Go back to here. <laughs> did he actually go into the trees to do that? I guess he did. All right, well, I mean, no getting around it. Even one person's a little bit too productive for here, but we can't not supply this, you know? Um, input outputs, inputs are good, outputs are ma almost maxed. I wonder if we can do like... No, they kind of have to be poking out, don't they? Like, because if we can just jam more paper uh, uh, into here, like what would happen? Well, you know what? We need to we need to start producing more of these before we start screwing with this. Otherwise, we're just going to break our functionality. What is your major malfunction? I think you need just a different stone. I think everyone's trying to get to the same stone. Um, so I need to be more cautious with who who I assume uh, who I assign that to. Oh yeah, we can get more research here. So, uh, basic logistics. Splitter and sorter. And pusher. Alright, no tool tip for that. But I think a splitter is kind of what we want. Because we actually want these to go to here too. So let's look up splitter. Uh, that would be logistics. Splitter. Place on a shooter or blot, uh, alternates output direction if available. Yeah, that's exactly what we want, actually. And that is literally exactly what we want. Although, no, we need more, we need more, um, we need more, uh, uh, conveyor belts to make that work for us. So, we'll, let's, let's go down that pathway before we, we commit to this splitter here. But I think it's ultimately going to be a good idea. All right, so where were we with that? That is, I think, not the uh, not the lumber mill. Might be the the uh, workshop actually. Hang on, workshop, workshop. Wide variety of useful items. Well, that doesn't really help us, but let's let's do something here. This seems sensible. All right, what do you do, Mr. Workshop? So if we get this here, or we could do cloth. Well, we're probably, we're, um, actually, we haven't invented the, uh, huh. We have not invented the, what do we need for the, to produce more wood? We need 50. We've got the, we got the red coins for it. That's not a problem. We just need more more stuff so that should be fine so we can actually we can do this the the hard way for the moment we can do some wood wheels here and we get two people one person grabs the wood wheel uh, the, that from here one person grabs the, them here drops it off at the general store because that's one of the items needed for that and then we can switch the recipe when we're ready. And actually, we do need to produce 10 uh, wood wheels. Um, so that's part of our, our tech tree boost here. So we might as well get that over with while we're waiting for our tech points to roll in. Which they just did. 
Bear belts are critical tools for automating your town. Place them on a building's front tile and resources will automatically be output. Uh, place them on a... You can also directly feed resources into any... Oh, so if you if you want a building to... S no, that's not true, because they don't have to be on the, on the front tile. It'll just use the grabber. It also looks like people get in each other's way here. Yeah, let's just get those nine wheels here. Tech level, kitchen, fluid pipe, good. All right, now we're going to flip you over to conveyor belt. I'm going to, for for the moment, I'm going to just tell you to go here. This can just digest the wood that's been built up here for a while. Uh, also, yeah, the person waiting for an item to pick up. Pick up and drop off to here. We'll get us our conveyor belts. There we go. Okay, now we're making our wood conveyor belts. They are being produced. Good. All right, and that means we can start building more of these things. So, which actually, what that means for this is... Um, Let's get our logistics block here. Splitter. Oops. Logistics block, splitter. And then that means we can build a uh, wood conveyor belt from here into here. And that, in theory, should send some of the logs there automatically so that this guy can just get back to the business of um, just keeping the conveyor belt fed in theory yeah that seems to be what it's doing fantastic all right now hang on now we can... How many, how many of these have we built up? Four of them. We need a few more of these things, these conveyor belts. Because what I want to do is actually I'm going to cut off this area, just make it all automated, and, and just have everything conveyor belt itself in. Because all these people walking around here are also making it very difficult to... Um, uh, they're getting in each other's way, whereas conveyor belts will make it nice and smooth. Don't you think? Okay, figured it out. And I just needed this for a much better view, because otherwise this would be difficult. Alright, so what we're going to do here... We're going to... You're going to just be a producer of conveyor belts. We can have a person going back and forth to here. That's fine. Um, so we're going to have a wooden conveyor belt coming out from you and leading into here. We could have this now. Nah. We'll leave it like that for the moment, but here's what we do. Um, we get a splitter. Oop, that's a sorter. We need a splitter. Like that. Then we clear out that. Oh! That's problematic. Is there a way to do a there actually there should be a way to do a bridge yeah 
we should still be able to do this. Let's let's try it. So if we path Okay, we are back. So apparently what we needed were these. We needed wood pillars and a wooden bridge. And that allows the stuff to pass underneath it while pe allowing people to walk over it. So good to know. All right, so this thing is, this thing is planking it up as much as we can, but I think we need even more people on this thing. Uh, fluid pipe. Nice, but not what we're looking for. Not yet, anyway. Let's get two more people and just, like, just just go ham. Go absolute ham. Make, the, make this thing try to keep up. We want to make sure these blocks get priority here. Oh, there's two people on this. We don't need two people on this. That is not needed. Let's let's get another person on potatoes because I don't think we have multiple potato people. All right, so we've got uh, we got all of the conveyor belts, so we can conveyor belt the Sam heck out of everything else that we do here. Whatever else we need, whatever else we want, we can conveyor belt it. Um, so now, now we need to get into kitchen. What does the kitchen do? I have an idea of what the kitchen does, but let's, let's, actually, hang on, do we need that? The kitchen needs its own thing, so we just need more tech. Oh yeah, let's get the, we have two more houses to build. Bada boom, bada bang. More mouths to feed, yes, but more people that can benefit from all of the stored up goods in our in our um, thing here. Like we can see how much how much we have. So our stone bricks are, you know, we're we're a little bit lower on stone bricks. We we could also probably utilize some wood wheels, um, send those down the pipelines. Can we get another workshop going here? Hmm. All right, here's a thought. Here's a here's a thought. Here's here's a here's a here's a thought. So what happens? What if we do this? What if we build ourselves because I want wood wheels, um, is, is what I'm going for here. Let's do a workshop. We're going to face it out this way. And we're going to make you make um, wood wheels, please. I mean, I guess the other thing we could do here is just... Um, yeah, actually, we probably didn't need this because we can just convert this to wood wheels. And then just make more conveyor belts as we need it. Yeah, you know what? Let's convert you to wood wheels. It makes more sense that way. Which means... We uh, just delete you. Bit of a waste of resources, but that's okay. I mean, I guess what we could do is have this output. Actually, even better. Let's, because we're using the resources so frequently, 
let's get our wood conveyor belt. And just dump it into there. And then you, for the wood wheels, we can have the person deliver the wood wheels. You're you're the wood wheel person, aren't you? Yes, you are. So you you can be out, you can be successfully out of a job. What's the uh, what's the production rate on this? So what's what's the slowdown here? I think we just need more workers. Make it faster. Even faster. Yeah, so this worker we can just get rid of you for now. You've been automated. Alright, still building this up. Can we... So here's what I'm going to do now, just to optimize this. I'm going to get... Also, I realized the chute is what we need for this, so I'm actually going to replace this with a chute. We can get rid of these two. So this, we're going to do double-barreled... Um, wood conveyor belts just so that we can get another line of output to here and that'll double um, and then here the chute um, I think that I want the chute to go down otherwise that won't work out nicely build on uneven terrain. Alright, so what we want you to do here... We, can we use you to shoot? Yes, we can. Right, build on uneven terrain, wood scaffold, yeah, so that is sort of our terrain smoothing ter uh, things here. So you, my friend, will now go to here. And you just roll that down there and it goes down the line much faster and now we're doing now we're putting out double barreled uh um things here we could probably get another worker going here yeah the logs we need we need another worker here we need we need to feed the chute Now our tech rate should be through the roof. Because we can just goose more workers here, at least until we run out and still until the output starts backing itself up. We can get more workers here. More paper, faster paper. All right, now back, now the output's starting to back itself up. So let's back you off one worker, and now we can research our kitchen. Kitchen and tavern. Okay, so kitchen produces a variety of valuable cooked foods. Now, since there's bread, I'm guessing we want this in proximity to both our market and our thing here. So let's 
Let's do this. All right, what do you what what recipe do you have? You have bread. We all there's all kinds of things, but bread gives us flour plus fuel. Ooh. Flour plus fuel. Which is either two wood or or four coal or both? Do we need both? We'll see if we need both. But then that gives us a bread. Okay. Um all right, um, so here's what we do. We, we, we move this, or delete that. But I have a better place for it. So the kitchen's gonna go up here. And there's gonna be a couple of different reasons for this. Do we want it up here or up here? Up here should be fine. Yeah, we'll put you up here, and we're going to have you make bread. So first things first, uh, we're going to get a splitter on the flour. Because we still want the raw flour to go to the market, because people still want raw flour. Um, you know, you're going to make the cook at home and all that stuff. So we get a splitter here. That's going to cause problems for our berry patch person. But I'll build them a bridge. Yeah, I'll build them a bridge. That's fine. We know how to we know how to build bridges now. Um, so then we get our wood conveyor belts. No dose. And let's build our bridge so we know that it is that that that. Uh, log bridge over top like that and yeah down here should be fine or here um, and yeah since it wants to be connected and all that we'll put you out here and with the hay we'll even draw you over here now so the for the actual production of the bread, we need the fuel. This still take care of the flour. The fuel it said wood. So and there's trees right here. So that's easy enough. But now, do we also need coal? Because I see coal over here. We need coal. We can get coal. Um. All right, yeah, it looks like wood, it's wood or coal. And since wood is the handier material here, we'll take the wood. Now, we need to goose the production of this place. We need more flour. We need more input, which means we need more harvesters. Um, can the shoot work for this? Maybe. Let's wait for that person to get out of the way. So you go here and only drop off to shoot endpoints. Gotcha. Okay. So one person is just going to do it manually. You, on the other hand, drop it off here. You hit that, drop it off here. You hit that, drop it off here. Huh, so they just roll it down there. Fair enough. And then, yeah, you guys can just bring it manually. What is no route to target? I guess there's too many people here. I guess we could do another shoot. 
since uh, like like a like a partial ended one. Like that. And then you grab that to there. You grab that to here. And that way we're just maximizing the because it looks like two people to a shoot seems to be the the correct answer here. We also probably need more people uh, just bringing raw grain to the market here. All right, so now this is this is starting to cook, and now we need output. Inventory. Aha. So So yeah. And these potatoes are in the way, but we can we can do something about this. Let's so let's 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 undo this. Um, there was a, yeah, remove resource. So if we do, if we do a um, conveyor belt here. It seems a little awkward, but it needs to point out and then point into there. But now we get our bread. And that'll start feeding the market like crazy. This thing still needs more flour. This thing is hungry for flour. So it's not a it's an issue of just getting just more resources in here. All right, so here's what we do. We do more shoots. So this actually go we're going to this is going to go all the way down here. And then we remove that down, this one here, like that. Actually, it makes more sense to go like that. So you go here, you go there. And drop off everything to shoot. What's your major malfunction, man? Let's try you to you. So there's definitely some logistical considerations to be had here. Also, this is this wheat's gonna get depleted, and I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> but I think this this is the end of this particular scenario here, or at least will be up and coming. Yeah, I mean we're doing. Fine. We need more people on grain, but what else is new? <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely there's something to be in mind for the paths of a worker to optimize that, to prevent that from becoming a problem.
but we are just about to hit our 20 bread here. And yeah, flour is just the... Victory! And just in time. All right, folks. So, um, if you uh, like this episode and you want to, uh, me to keep playing, uh, let me know. Let me see. Let me know if you want to see the next campaign. Um, and you know, if there's enough positive feedback for this, I might buckle down, refine some of my strats, and possibly turn this into a strategy and tactics level series. Uh, but right now, I'm having fun with it. Um, and let me know if you're having fun with it. Uh, so, um, if you uh, did, hit that uh, like button, hit that subscribe button, ding the bell, uh, good for notifications. If you have Prime, um, a download of the episode actually really helps my metrics if you have uh, YouTube Prime. Um, so that would be most appreciated. Um, otherwise, uh, leave me a comment, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Ben Star out! Thank you.